Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So sorry to keep you waiting with all this pause menu stuff. We're going to have to just fix it up a little bit. And I was talking about how I want to send in the character size into add button. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, first, let me check if it takes an unsigned. It does take an unsigned. So I was right. We're just going to do a const unsigned um, char size. Okay. Uh, and this should be a const as well. I don't know why that's not a const. All right. Okay. So go into pause menu, go into your add button function uh, right here. And we'll just do const here and then a const unsigned char size oh yeah we we need to keep it like this so i know what is local and what is not local all right so that's why i do that underscore thing to make sure it's a local variable uh if it's two words together like that anyway we have our character size and i'm just gonna say char size here and we do have the width and everything hmm all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me think here. So we have the width and the height as well. Pretty much uh, the size of the buttons is important. So we're going to have to change stuff up a little bit. We have the key. It's very important. We have the Y position. All right, we can't change the horizontal position. We don't want that. So I'm just going to set these const float width const float height all right i'm just gonna set them up here i know it's two extra parameters but it's it's worth it uh so key const float char size y let me just put them right here since there's so many i'm using new lines so so we can see what's going on so just go ahead in here all right now we have a bunch of more things going so I'm just going to remove these width and height and we'll keep them right here. So we can send the percentages from outside width and height X and Y. Now, what is X? It's container get position X plus container to get size. Um, plus 2F minus width. OK, so we're going to have to. This is fine now. All right, this is fine for now. We're going to have to start up here where we actually create the container, and everything. When we create it, we're sending in window, all right? We're sending in the window to get the size. What I want to do is I actually want a SF video mode VM here instead. So we can just send in the graphics settings video mode directly in there. All right, so let's just change that to VM. Let's just change the whole thing to VM and that's pretty much what I want, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what I want. So let's just change that to VM. Let's say VM dot width here. All right. And this is the background size. So we're going to have to give it a percentage. Pretty, no, it's all the, the whole wind. OK, so there's no big deal. VM dot height. Let's just leave that at that. And then we have the fill color. That's fine. This is where. Um, this is also fine, I guess. VM dot with VM dot height. That was it, right? Yeah, VM dot height minus a hundred. So that is the container. Okay, so minus. Now we're gonna have to do use this thing. All right, so GY cap P two P Y. And 100 divided by 1080. What is that? That's about 10%, right? 100 divided by 1080. That's about, yeah, it's about 10%. 9.3. So 9.3F. All right, we're just going to use that. So we're casting it to a float. Okay, and we need to send in VM as well. There you go. Hopefully, what is the problem? Oh, the static cast. Okay, there you go. Okay, all right, all right. What? Wait, excuse me. 
Are you serious? That's for that. Oh, vm.height. Okay, so we're setting cast set casting that minus this. Why are you expecting what? Okay, wait, what? Um, oh, whoa, 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 I'm dumb, I'm dumb, sorry about that, sorry about that, there you go, all right, so that, that's some place where we need that custom stuff, fill color is fine, uh, vm.width, this is also fine, to set it at the center, and then vm. wait, do I use the window get size, okay, and then we just use the container, that get size x all right that's cool and then now we're gonna look at the character size so 60 right 60 60 this no gui calc char size i'll we'll just give it vm so that's good now they will give us a good size for for the characters here and pause that's fine um, where else is the container get size to menu text I get global bounds width okay plus 40 so containers position so that's the Y down so that's the menu text okay menu text so we're gonna have to set the position 40 um, 40 divided by 1080 lots of math here so that's about four percent it's about four percent so gy p2py four percent uh, and then vm okay and same thing here shouldn't use that boom okay so this should look fine right now i don't know how it's going to look in a in a smaller scenario but this should look all right also, all of this stuff looks fine. Now, the problem is going to be wherever we create buttons, all right? Because since it's going to be asking for more stuff. Um, and instead of the window, we're going to say this uh, state data graphic settings uh, resolution and then the font. So there you go. Now, that works at least. We're going to have to do that in the editor state as well. Probably going to have some issues down here. Yeah, right here. So I'm just going to copy that from game state. All of this. And put it into editor state. Excuse me. Let's just open it. There you go. Okay. In it right here. So I'm just going to put that in right there. Boom. And then we have the issues here, of course wherever we add the buttons it's gonna need more stuff so it was the size and the height now remember we did calculate those for the previous buttons in in the main menu state so I'm just gonna copy them because it was the same values basically it wasn't anything special like these width and height values I want to keep them the same so I'm just gonna copy that up and go into my editor state and all that stuff so it was the character size, right? Let's see, pause menu. Let's go to add button. Okay, so why width, height, and then the character size. So I was right. Width, height, and then GUI, calc, char size, VM, like this. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, game state. Okay, right here. All right, let's go to pause menu. No, where is it? Main menu state. This whole thing. This is what I want to copy because I want to use this more often. So it's really good. I'm just going to put it right up there in game state and in editor state. Okay. And I'm going to use VM a lot. So I'm just going to use VM in here like this. Um, no, actually, I can't use VM in there. There you go. And then editor state VM. This is where I'm going to use VM. So there you go. Uh, and then you can just copy this whole thing. You don't have to worry too much about it. And then we'll we'll tend to this in just a second. There you go. Once those are working, you're good. 
Now go into game state as well. You only have to copy that in once and you're good to go. So there you go. Now this 800 calculation, 800 divided by 1080 is about 74%. 74%. So P2PY, 74%. 4.F. I'm just going to copy this real quick. Go into editor state. And paste that in there. 500 and 400. So I'm just going to use those as well. 500 divided by 1080. That is about 46%. 46% and load was at 400 so uh, 400 divided by 1080 is 37% Whew, we're pretty much done guys pretty much done 37 let's run this hopefully just catch the final errors and uh, then see if that works so okay all of this is fine new game pause menu looks great all right no problems settings menu looks great uh, because now we can pretty much test it out i think if we apply that go back go into settings all of this seems to be working the text as well i think i fixed that and then new game pause menu pause menu everything is smaller all right let's go ahead again let's make it a little smaller let's go back still working okay let me just oh i shouldn't be able to resize that actually anyway so we'll work in one more try. Let's put it down to about that much. Back, new game. All right, still working. No problem. Editor as well, still working. Obviously, this isn't like how I want it to be. Uh, it's going to have to change. But at least our GUI is pretty, pretty much working. Pretty much working, all right? So that's good. That's good. Whew. I'm tired of talking, tired of this GUI stuff, but uh, at least it's it's nice and dynamic now. A little more code than usual. Check this out on a GitHub if you're kind of confused confused about what's going on. There's probably some more GUI stuff we gotta fix. Just small stuff, nothing special, um, but we'll tend to that soon later on. But for now, this is fine. I'm happy with this. Um, so yeah, if you if you are wondering anything. Hit me up on Discord. We got a lot of people there. You can you can sit there and just be with us, talk with us, whatever. If you have questions, if you just want to hang out. So check that out, definitely. That's in the description box. And yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for your patience. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.